بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم جی اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ ویورز ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل ڈی جی لرنر پوائنٹ ان ٹو ڈے ویڈیوز وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کور دا سوشن آف اسائنمنٹ نمبر 2 اف سبجیکٹ کارپوریٹ فنانس ا وچ سبجیکٹ کوڈ فنس از 22 اس لاسٹ ڈیٹ فار سبمیشن اف اسائنمنٹ از 21 فروری مین ٹو ڈے اٹ ہیز ٹوٹل مارکس 10 سو بیفور ریڈنگ دا کویشچن لیٹس سی از دیر اینی اسپیس انسٹرکشنز Regarding the extra time, yes, you have 24 hours extra grace period after the due date is usually available to overcome uploading difficulties. So you have more uh, 24 hours uh, extra time uh, for uploading the, the solution of this assignment. So let's uh, start the reading of this question. Then we are going to read out the task assigned with these questions. And then we are going to un- understand the task. Then uh, we will jump into the Uh, solution so uh, let's start reading uh, cash management is the most critical factor in business success and sustainability and robust cash management policies provide a competitive advantage to the corporation to capitalize these opportunities even with limited uh, resources uh, this means that the, he he is uh, highlighting the efficiency of a company that have uh, ability to manage their cash uh, related issues Uh, efficiently and effectively so due to this he has an competitive advantage over their competitors unless he has a limited resources if case if cash is managed correctly the business will remain healthy in today dynamic uh, business environment you know in this era of uh, digi- digital and dynamic business environment Uh, it is very important for the companies to um, manage their cash uh, working capitals uh, problems uh, effectively and correctly correct, correctly that have uh, the management to keep their business active and healthy when a business cash management is in adequate it may experience severe liquidity problems resulting in bankruptcy those businesses which are failed to uh manage their uh, working capitals in uh, eff- uh, efficiently effectively they will suffer the severe problem of liquidity uh, liquidity issues as a result the company may face or may go into the bankruptcy situations the most critical factor affecting a business profitability and long term health is its liquidity liquidity is a very important Uh, factor for all the business uh, that have uh, critical effects on the business prof- profitability and long term health if the corporation manages the liquidity crisis appropriately it will more credit worthy and reputed for lending institutions lending institutions uh, means banking uh, investment bank and other institutions they give more credit or uh, rely on the businesses Uh, which have ability to manage their liquidity crisis more uh, appropriately so uh, now the scenario is started here suppose you are a finance person in start corporation uh, your management gives you a responsibility to calculate optimal cash and analyze the liquidity profitability and risk of start corporation compared to its competitor moon corporation Uh, i think there is no need to be explain this one the competitor moon com- corporation has the same size and almost similar market share in industry uh, it it uh, depicts that the moon corporation is same as of uh, star corporation in terms of uh, its size and its market share in the industry it means that both corporation star and moon are same from the point point of view of size and uh, market share the star corporation has a high level of investment in current assets and currently holds rupees 15 million in the current assets while its competitor has rupees 10 million in current assets now we are going to comparing the two, co- two corporations given in the scenario on the basis of their investment in current assets as mentioned and the star corporation heavily invested Uh, in current asset which is uh, equal to um, amount 15 million uh, as compared to uh, rupees 10 million which is invested by the its competitor moon corporation which is very less 
uh, in numerical comparison start corporation has a philosophy of maximum purchasing of its current asset with equity and consider it less risky start corporation uh, thinks that if he uh, purchases his current, current asset from its equity means its own uh, money rather than uh, debt money so it is uh, it is less risky for them but on the other hand the competitor uh, moon thought that the short term debt financing is good for the fixed assets now today business operate in an open environment where the other stakeholders have considerable influence on the operation and purpose of business it means that all the businesses uh, are not alone to control everything there are many other stakeholders such as customers employees uh, uh, financial institutions government and uh, uh, <coughs> customer as well supplier as well all of the stakeholders that have interest in that businesses and they are very much and fuels the operations of the business and even the decision of the businesses so uh, the government is a critical player in this domain from stakeholders point of view we are going to give more weight to the role of the government because its policy impact the business directly and indirectly when the policy is tied with the interest rate because government has a power of not only to regulate the um, businesses but uh, through its policies he, he can uh, influence the business is uh, regarding the interest rate which is a part of the monetary policy uh, of the government in recent months government announced the contractionary monetary policies that caused the borrowing costly because of a surge in interest rates uh, it has been observed that from the few uh, months ago that the government uh, is interested to apply the contractionary monetary policy as a result of which the uh, borrowing cost becomes higher because of the rise in interest rate before the contractionary policy the interest rate in the economy was only 7% per annum but now it reached up to 12% per annum the new in the media and a few official statements show the existence of the contractionary policy for up to 1 years these are some informations that are related to start corporations and moon corporations in terms of amount and regarding these particulars variance of daily cash flows 125000 minimum balance 700000 transaction cost is 77 daily interest rate is 0.02% in terms of decimals it is 0.0002 cash balance cash in hand or in other words available cash or available cash 700 1000 for moon corporation the values of the same particulars are where 80000 minimum balance is 40000 transaction cost is 50 daily interest rate is same as we saw in the case of start corporations and cash balance or cash in hand or available cash is 57398 so our first task is calculate the spread and return point for both corporations according to the miller or model the second task is, is which corporation should invest the money for short run as per Miller or model and what is the logic. Analyze the scenario and briefly elaborate which working cap capital policies both corporations are adopting. The fourth one is which corporation profit profitability will be more affected with the high interest rate provide reason. So uh, now we jump into the our solutions. Let's start solutions part one uh, spread rate. Before going to discuss the solution, I'm going to request you that uh, if the, if you found any kind of uh, error in calculations, please mention in the comment sections. Uh, so uh, thanks for your cooperation in this regard. So let's start uh, reading solutions part one spread. And return we are going to determine for the both corporations. Spread formula is 3 into 0.75 into to total transaction cost into variance of daily cash flows divided by daily interest rate raised to power 1 by 3 or cube root then into 3. Return point is minimum balance plus spread by 3 means the value of uh, the portion inside the brassis, scale brassis. 
So first start spread is 3 into 0.75, 77 is the transaction cost into 125 is the variance of daily cash flows divided by 0 0.0002 raised to power 1 by 3. Then uh, 3 into 3304.79 and 9914.37 is the separate part start company. Uh, on the right hand side we have the same uh, formula for calculating the separate for moon corporations. So 3 into uh, only the difference is the values regarding the transaction cost and uh, variance of daily cash flow. Here is 50 and 80,000 but the denominator is same. So we will get 3 into 2466.21 and total is 7398.64. This is a separate for moon. Now come to the return point which is equal to minimum balance plus spread over 3. 700,000 plus uh, separate by 3 is equal to 3,304.79. So by adding this amount in the minimum balance we will get 703,300. 4.7 I think uh, 79 now on the right hand side for uh, moon it is for 42,466.21 because the minimum balance is here 40,000 and uh, uh, spread by 3 is equal to 2,466.21 now move to the part 2 uh, criterion for investing uh, in short term as per Miller or model. Cash balance should be equal to or greater than maximum cash. Cash. So maximum cash is equal to minimum balance plus spread. So we are going to use these two conditions uh, in order to uh, check which corporation is qualifying for uh, more investment in short term as per Miller or model. Start. Corporation maximum cash is equal to minimum cash, which is equal to 700,000 plus uh, spread 9914.37 is equal to 709914.37. On the right hand side, uh, we are going to calculate the same thing for moon, which is equal to 47,398.64. Applying this uh, criterion on both the corporation to find out the which corporation uh, should invest in short term so uh, here we see the 701 cash in hand which is ca cash in hand is not equal to or greater than uh, 7 uh, maximum uh, cash which is equal to 700 so we uh, strike out this uh, corporation level start so, which uh, see the both condition for the moon corporations. Here we see that uh, maximum cash is 47,398, which is less than 57,398, uh, which is in the hand of the entity. So, uh, we conclude that the moon corporation should invest the money for short run and the amount should be a cash in hand minus return point cash in 957,000.398 minus 40, 42,466.21 14,931.79 this is the amount that Moon Corporation should invest in short run as per Miller own model. Now we move to the part 3 and start talking about the working capital policies as adopted by the both corporations start and Moon. Uh, start corporations has adopted the conservative uh, working capital policy because of high level of investment in current assets as 50 million as described in the scenario enjoying low risk position due to the large amount of net working capital as he is investing a uh, high level of uh, amount in the current assets uh, taken from his equity rather than from uh, debt financing so he has uh, the healthy position and bear or faces the low risk position. Now uh, discuss the same for the moon corporations. The, poli the policy he has adopted is termed as aggressive. Uh, he low level of investment as it is clear from the 
scenario that he invested 10 million in current assets and highly risk due to the rise in interest rate and on the other hand he is going to finance his fixed capital uh, through financing yeah, means debt so uh, as a result of uh, rise in interest rate which is um, before 7% now is 12% due to uh, contraction monetary policy so it has a uh, more risk and his borrowing cost is increases so uh, move to the part 4 which is the last task and uh, moon's profitability is more affected due to the increase in interest rate i hope you have enjoyed this solution if you have any kind of query please drop uh, in comment section or if you want to contribute your knowledge uh, regarding this solution if you found any mistake or typo error please uh, also share it in comment section with all of us thanks for watching assalamu alaikum